I was talking to somebody the other day and I thought I had already done a video on this specifically and I told him I did and then I went back and looked and I couldn't find it. So I'm going to do another one right here. Maybe it's there. Maybe I just missed it. I do the carnivore diet and the carnivore diet allows me then to live my life, to live a lifestyle that I want to live. That is a healthy, vibrant, energetic, aggressive uh, lifestyle that is keeps my mind sharp, my emotions in check, everything functioning the way that I wanted to do it. And I've achieved that through the carnivore lifestyle. But it is a lifestyle nonetheless. And whatever lifestyle it is, whatever approach to that lifestyle that you want to take, I want to encourage you to do that. It does not have to be carnivore. So I, I, I named my podcast uh, on health and nutrition and fitness, the common sense of war, right? Because and common sense came first, not carnivore, common sense. Common sense approach to your health. Let's get out for a walk every day. Has nothing to do with carnivore. Get to the gym, push some weights around, do some push-ups in the morning, some sit-ups, some body weight squats, things of that nature every day. Has nothing to do with carnivore. The food that you eat, get rid of sugars, get rid of, of processed foods, right? Just get, eat clean, wholesome foods. I don't care if you eat vegan. Or vegetarian, I could care less. I, I I really don't care. I think that protein and fat uh, is a healthier way to go than eating vegan or vegetarian. But I'll put vegan and carnivore right next to each other in terms of a lifestyle to live to find health relative to eating all of the other garbage. Now, at the end of the day, you can even eat all of those things together. And just control the number of calories that you eat and track those and go for a walk every day and you're going to have success. So if you eat 2,000 calories, it's made up of fat and protein and vegetables and you want to put sugar in there and you want to put processed foods in there, you can certainly do that. You will lose weight. You will feel better. You will get stronger. Your life will improve immeasurably. You want to take that to certain extremes. I think then you, you're going to move up that ladder. There's healthy, there's healthier, there's as super healthy as you can be. But you can do all of those things inside of a calorie deficit. Go for a walk and lose weight. Do some push-ups, body weight squats, sit-ups, things of that nature. You're going to put on muscle. Go to the gym, lift some things. Don't even have to be heavy things. Good, consistent, resistant training. And you're going to find success. So I want to be absolutely clear that I want what I have for all of you. Whatever way you need to do to get where I am, I want to encourage you to do. Can you get to where I am eating some of these other diets that aren't the one that I do, feel the way that I do, do it as successfully as I have? I have some doubts about that, but you can certainly give it a try and it's going to greatly improve your life regardless of which way you do that. Now, I want which, regardless of which way you pick. Now, remember, you heard me say, you can include sugar in that. 100% you can. You eat 2,000 calories a day and go for a walk, push some weights around. You're going to feel better. You're going to lose weight. You're going to lose weight relatively quickly, maybe 1,800 calories, somewhere in there. You're going to, you're going to feel great. And those 1,800 calorie, calories can include some sugar if you want it. I don't care. You're going to feel better doing it. Eat it all sugar, you're going to feel better doing it, although you're going to be way down on the ladder of what truly healthy is going to look like. But, but, but if it's a majority of protein and fats and vegetables, you're going to be fantastic. And if you want to throw in a little bit of sugar and you want to have some sort of processed food, have at it in the context of that diet and a calorie deficit, you're going to feel better, period, which is the name of the game. Are you going to feel as good as you could? No. But are you going to feel way better than you do? Yes. That's what I want you to encourage, a common sense approach to what works. Uh, what works and what works for you. Now, all of this will work for everybody, no matter which day. The best diet you can go on is the one you can stick to. It's going to work for you. It just happens to me to be the carnivore diet is my gateway. That was the vehicle that I rode, that I used to get where I am. And so that's the one that I advocate for the strongest. But I want to make sure I'm clear that I'm not an ideologue here. I'm not stuck in one way or another of doing this, because I know that the reality is, is that any change to your standard American diet and include a little bit of exercise is going to greatly change your life. 
and affect you in ways that are unimaginable. And I want that for everybody. Opportunities are everywhere. You got to go get them. Go for a walk.